And so th this this is uh, one of our projects that we have going on right now. And you know, as I was mentioning earlier, how we can now do more more work up front than we may have in the past. Um, a schematic design document set 20 years ago would have been floor plans and elevations of a project like this. Um, nowadays, we've gotten to a much higher level of detail and refinement to the point that we are calling out a lot more kind of things like uh, flooring and finishes and millwork and casework. And the reason for that is we can develop it in three dimensions as we develop those floor plans and develop ceiling plans and develop exterior building elevations. You know, what does the building look like from the outside? Um, but then we get onto the inside as well and start to see what the building feels like on the interior. So um, we can sort of pan through, you know, and yet there's this interesting kind of cutaway 3D isometric view that lets us see things. We can kind of look into spaces like a, a food laboratory or a science or a workshop classroom element. And we can look at things like furniture and structure, windows and lighting. Um, but this is still kind of a very kind of bird's eye view. It doesn't really put us inside the space um, in a way that makes it understandable. So you know, this is a useful, no doubt, tool for us to have and lets us make certain decisions about furniture, about uh, you know, kind of wayfinding and work through a space. But this software, which is the Lumion software, really lets us get inside and experience it in a way that we're much more familiar with. So instead of looking at it from that kind of 3D bird's eye view, um, having to cut away through things and uh, not being able to be inside the rooms. Uh, here we actually can get inside. So I'm stepping us into the large kind of open atrium gathering space for the project. And I can kind of tilt the camera around and you can see people talking and sitting and standing and milling, milling around, um, doing things that people do. We can look at structure, we can look at finishes, we can look at lighting. You can look at views and plantings and landscaping. Um, and again, this is all at, at schematic design. So this is a more refined model than we would have had 20 years ago. Um, but I think it gives people you know, kind of better, better understanding of the projects, what it looks like, what it feels like. And does this really hit the, the kind of design intent that we're after, not only for us, but for a client. 